Are you familiar with the pivot table in Excel? Then you already know a group by class in SQL Server. But if you are not aware, let's try to understand how this works. This is another set of videos in Analytics with Nax where I'm going to cover SQL advanced topic ranging from group by, rollup, cube, synonyms, all other stuffs that is usually not uh, training material but the topics are used in the corporate environment in the real world let's try to understand this SQL uh, advanced topic as part of this series prerequisite you should know basic SQL and SQL joins if not you have uh, my channel you can go through the SQL playlist and also install the SQL Server, SSMS, AdventureWorks. I will provide the links in the description. The purpose. Let's try to understand the group by purpose. It divides the query result into group of rows and usually perform the aggregations. And as a bonus point, I will tell you this can be used to identify the duplication. The syntax remains uh, same. Uh, like select from table and you have introducing the group by and having class select column name and aggregation operation then you use the same column whatever in the select list you can use that in the group by and then having class act as the filter on top of the result that has derived from this group by so example you have a sales master and in the sales master you have a customer right he has purchased many times now he want to aggregate how what is the total amount this customer has purchased for that you need to use the group by customer name in the select as well as group by class then i sometimes this is the optional field actually sometimes i want to have like if the total sales of that customer is greater than thousand then only you show this is the var condition on top of the group by result. This is all about uh, group by syntax and example. Let's try to understand uh, this using uh, Excel. So we have um, Excel here, right? Now, in this case, what we are going to do is I want to have uh, this is basically uh, customer information and the customer has uh, gender and what is the education and what is his yearly income i want to identify based on the gender and his education what is their average yearly income so how can i identify if uh, the data is available in excel let's try to do a pivot so uh, I have a gender here and have a, what is the level of education he did bachelor's and yearly income by default the yearly income is sum how can I change it and I can use this click on this one and change field and average there you go so if you are know this pivot tables in Excel right then you are good you already know the group by functionality in the SQL Server. So whatever results that you are getting here, similar thing you can able to uh, achieve in the SQL Server and the database using the group by class. That is what we are going to perform today. So let's go and check our um, table here. This is the uh, dim customer and I have practiced it uh, to demonstrate. Let me try to come from the beginning. So basically, uh, I need to have the select star from dim customer to view the data. I can see the data here. Now what we need, we need gender wise. And then I need um, English occupation or education. It's education, I think. Okay, in English education and i need average so average here in the uh, sql is abg and i need yearly salary yearly salary right so yearly income basically you can copy paste here and oh my god copy with headers 
yearly income delete this and then so you have a select statement whatever you want in the result you have selected it then i need the group by so that drag and drop over here right in excel you have dragged and dropped here same things the select statement and the group by you will add then just execute it that's it so now you can see uh, the data over here uh, let's do order by one comma two one is first column and two is second column so now we can see bachelor six four three eight seven uh, bachelor this data can be uh, different here that's why uh, you show i mean i can see a uh, different um, results it so no need to worry about it okay so now uh, what i need from here is actually i got the end results now now one of the uh, uh, criteria i told is uh, when the having class right the having class acts as a filter now i don't want any of the uh, line item meaning like any of the um, gender or english education whose average income less than 50000 meaning like i want only those who are having the average income here right i can put the name here for now average income that should be greater than 50000 then you see this result after that i need to filter right this is like var condition for the group by class when you have a group by class from the result set from this table right i need to filter then you use having the aggregate value average value uh, based on this value i'm filtering based on average income greater than 50000 so now most of it will go away so this is the result set right so this is what your group by basics is all about you have a group by different columns and having to filter based on the result set this is the fundamentals now coming back to um, other things in excel i can see other information here like all this individual uh, average is showing along with this you can see the complete average right you can see uh, the average of the complete uh, total here right and average of this one right over here how can i achieve this because this average is showing different but usually not based on this average total divided by uh, five okay that is what we need to uh, use here number of uh, records here so uh, for that i need to compute right similar results uh, you perform the individual male bachelor male graduate but what is the total for average for male alone what is the average for female alone this result value right how can i achieve it that is what our next function comes in roll up so let's do this filter also right having for for only for these six members we will try to see the result so this roll up is nothing but i want to perform the male average and female average in the same result set that is what it will perform now now you can see along with um, this individual result right let's try to see this in a uh, two both in a both results in a same window then we can able to correlate the results the syntax remains same I will remove this uh, having here also having there you go I will run together let's see the results here so this one having the individual member result set the roll up function will give me the average of all the three together right for the female what is my average for the male what is my average let's try to take this one in excel so what is this average like 61900 right this will not give me 61900 see you don't compute this average 
basically sum of total thing because this will not give me total average of this uh, i mean you cannot sum these three and do do the divide by three here you are not doing that you are aggregating entire female records and then dividing okay that average will differ that is the whole point i'm trying to make here so basically i'm getting the female average and then male average and this is the total average across the all records so this is all about your um, roll up then i can have another function over here called cube cube is uh, basically cube concept is permutation combination of two different or multiple members how many columns you add it here those permutation combination it will perform it will add all the result set let's try to understand the result set first uh, see the cube result so what it happens is along with your female uh, average it also gives me additional averages here like bachelor's what is the average for graduate degree also what is my average so right now you can see here order by one comma two order by one comma two let's try to see both together this is for the roll up roll up what is the uh, difference between roll up and um, cube uh, roll up it has um, the member level average the first member level and the um, the overall average right overall average and the the first member the first member you have here that particular average will be there in case of cube on top of that first member it has the second members average as well the uh, cube is permutation combination of both the columns you can mention multiple columns all the permutation combination average finally you will also have the um, the overall average that remains same here if you can see null and null in 57305 and this will also give me 57305 this is the uh, overall thing i can uh, say about a roll up and cube so you can see a similar result set you can get it in the sql as well this is what all about the roll up as well as cube and uh, one last thing to end up uh, today's topic is like this is used to uh, remove the duplicate as well how it is let's try to understand with some example let's see here you have um, employee right this is the order table order number one two four five and you can see employee id who done this transaction this is nine one nine two nine three nine four and this is the sales amount now let's assume in the employee table you have the uh, data here right uh, bob and you have uh, current status so this employee has repeated you can see here the nine one over here is repeated here his name is changed and the, the current status will be current okay sometimes what happens while we are not while we are joining these two tables we will not uh, uh, see any uh, relationship here I, I mean this particular column we will not consider as a filter condition in that cases what will happen this data will get uh, duplicated meaning like you see the order number it is repeated twice one for first record another for second record if you join these two columns for the querying uh, i want to see the each uh, employee uh, name and what is its sales amount now in this case what happened you can see there is a pollution in the data meaning like the actual total amount in the sales table is 415 only but when you do the join that this particular data will get duplicated you see here 50 will be repeated all other records remain same so because of that we have increased the delta is 50 i mean we increase the sales amount to force which is incorrect always we need to use the current filter but sometimes we'll miss it so these kind of um, uh, 
always the in analytics when you do the join of the table we don't know that structure of the table right meaning it's a cd2 table or it, whether it contains uh, how it is architected we are not sure we just see the relationship and join then it will pollute the data so when you do the each table join you need to be very careful and uh, analyze if there is uh, increasing the uh, row counts now coming to our point how we can identify there is a duplicate so any joins you do that has increased your base table right then you need to go to here um, in your uh, database and drag and drop the employee select star from dim employee right so that particular column right whatever column you are joining you need to use uh, the customer alternative key meaning like employee id alternative key that particular column you need to use here and then put the group by and then put count of one and the same condition i'm going to put like having count of one greater than one this is the universal statement for data analytics world where you can identify the a particular column or entity because employee we always prefer there is no duplicate because you can see there are five duplicates in this particular table it is not a duplicate as such because let's take this particular um, uh, employee here and what happens here is we have actually the multiple records in this table meaning like one is uh, active another is inactive so that is what it can cause the issues in your uh, data and uh, replication all other stuffs so always it is easy to find using this query um, where is the duplicate because it, it, you can see exactly duplicate but current status is but to avoid such a issue once you identified always it's preferred when you do the join of this table you always use this column as a var condition in the left join right that will solve your issue so in this way you can able to find a duplicate and you can react appropriately i hope uh, you understand the uh, purpose of group by uh, as part of this video and then how can you use roll up and cube how it was uh, aligned with your pivot table results then i have demonstrated uh, how you can use the group by to identify the duplication if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and do remember that data is your asset